What if I say that getting funding is easy? I know you don't believe me. Well, watch till the end and I explain you why. I think it's easy. Before going there, let's do a bit of a checkup, if you will, about the state of your company and your funding plan. What is your business? Why are you doing? Are you passionate about your business? Are you really jumping out of the bed in the morning to solve some issues, some troubles, some pain points for some target market, some, some group of people who you really care about? Is that what you're oozing? Is that something what you really crave to do every day? So you just barely can sleep and wait to jump out of your bed in the morning. Is your team doing the same? Do you have a, an awesome team around you who are as passionate as you to do and change the world with your solution? Are you in love with the solution? Notice, I didn't say, are you in love with the product? Are you in love of the pain point and solving that? and whatever the means to solve that. Because it might be that you've been already building something. It might be that you already have something to offer. But if people are not buying, if it's not really moving the needle in your revenues, maybe the solution is not exactly what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's not the people who are not getting what you're offering. Maybe you haven't found the proper product market fit. And that's why I'm saying, are you in love with the solution, the pain point, finding the exact, perfect, awesome solution to those people to have their life easier. If you're in hunger, you need to have food. You want to have food. And if somebody can offer you the most amazing meal, they are so happy. What type of food they are eating? That's a different question. But oftentimes, when you're building a company, you focus on that type of food or what's happening in the kitchen or how awesome techniques or equipment you have in the kitchen. But when you're in hunger, when you need food, or you're just looking for the awesome experience you're having while you're eating the food, is not the kitchen process, which is so interesting. So keep that in mind. Maybe you just haven't found the right customers. Maybe the target market is a bit off. Maybe your business model is not actually reflecting where you are at this point. Maybe your revenue model is not in place yet. Maybe you understand that it doesn't need to be in place. And that's okay as well. How about your cap table? How many rounds of funding you have already taken? Have you already given out maybe a bit too much equity? Do you have already tons of people in your cap table? There's so many other ways or other things that needs to be taken into account when you're building a company as well. If you're starting, that's a really good point, starting point. I mean that you, you can still plan these things. You don't need to go deeply in all of these things. Uh, you can just uh, keep them in mind while you're building a company. But the funding is easy if you have done the hard work. The hard work is to know why you are doing what you're doing, what are you doing, to whom you're doing it, with whom you're doing it, with what type of model you're doing it. All these things need to be in place before you start to talk about the funding round pricing, valuations, all these things. These are sort of technical things. First, you need to convince that what you're doing is worth 
the effort and time and it's meaningful and it's so important that other people should care. And the best way to show that is actually so that with your customers. If your customers are so excited about the things, what you do to them, that they really love you, it's so easy to convince the other parties. It's so easy to recruit people. It's so easy to get investors excited as well. But if you are not excited, what are you doing? If your team is not excited, if the product is not exciting, if the numbers in your revenues or any other metrics you're following are not exciting, and usually they reflect the other excitement, the genuine excitement of relieving some pain points. You have a genuine problem you're solving which is meaningful and important. So it's not just like a fun feature, but it's actually a real pain point. These are the things which may make your funding lack. It's not the deck, it's not the story, it's not the sales pitch. If you're passionate, you stumble with your words, you mumble the numbers, or you hesitate with your pitch, but you're passionate, and you have a compelling story, those will compensate. Those will win hearts and minds, and it's okay. But if you don't really feel and ooze the excitement of the things you're doing, then pushing the numbers, then pushing the facts, then pushing the story, then trying to push whatever you're pushing is still pushing. And that's the problem. So the reason I said funding is easy, it is easy, but only when all the other stuff has been done. And that's the hard part. It's easy to fix the Excel when you know how to put the numbers in there. The sale projections are easy when you know what type of parameters to put in there. It's easy to plan the product when you know what the people need, what are the most urgent things to put in place. It's easy to put employment numbers, employee numbers, your costs into that Excel when you know what you're going to do. But it's so hard when you don't have an idea. Same thing with your deck. It's so easy to make a nice, be beautiful pitch when you already know what you're going to say. And it's so hard when you are having that foggy feeling that I need to push it, I need to put it in there, but I don't exactly know or this doesn't really feel right. So these are my messages. It's work, trial and errors, but please don't focus on the technical details. Don't focus on those tiny things. Focus on the big things, focus on the hard things, focus on those things which matter. Why should anyone care? Why should you care? Why should your team care? Why are you doing these things? And are you doing them in the right thing, right way? Till next time. There are some things which are relatively easy to fix. But those are the things, for example, I get often asked, please, can you come in and check the deck? Can you check my sales pitch? Can you do this or that? Well, those are easy things to fix. I know it takes time and you know a lot of hours probably. But why I'm saying they're easy to fix is that those are presenting what you already have. The hard work is to think about those things. The hard work is to do those things. And, and that's the tough part.